September 23rd, St. Linus, Pope and Martyr. St. Linus was converted in Rome in the days when St. Peter was preaching the gospel there. This nobleman, originally from the city of Volterra in Tuscany, left his father and renounced his heritage to practice with greater perfection the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ. He soon gave admirable proofs of his zeal, learning, and prudence, and the first vicar of Christ employed him in preaching and administration of the sacrament. He crossed into Gaul and became the bishop of the city of Bezanson. The number of the faithful increased daily by the conversion of many idolaters. The saint one day attempted to turn some of those away from the celebration of a festival in honor of their gods, telling them that these idols were but statues without breath or sentiment, and represented only human beings whose vices were public knowledge. He exhorted them to turn to the unique God, creator of the heavens and the earth, to whom alone man owes the homage of sacrifice. A miracle followed his words. A column of their temple crumbled and caused the fall of an idol which broke into a thousand pieces. The worshippers were unmoved, however, and drove the saint out of the city. He returned to Rome and was there when the Prince of the Apostles was martyred. He wrote an account of the double martyrdom of Saints Peter and Paul and was himself judged worthy to replace the first vicar of Christ. In a letter directed to the Oriental churches, Linus told how Peter's body was taken from the cross by Marcellus, bathed in milk and wine and embalmed with precious spices. Ancient records by Irenaeus and Eusebius place the name of Linus directly after St. Peter the apostle pope linus is the only pope after saint peter who is named in holy scripture he is mentioned by saint paul in his letter of salutation from rome to timothy in ephesus where he says do your best to come before winter eubulus sends greetings to you as do pusens and linus and claudia and all the brothers and sisters the Roman Braviary says that the faith and sanctity of this blessed Pope were so great that he drove the demons from many possessed persons. After governing the church for a short period, he too shed his blood for his Savior. His body was buried in the Vatican near that of St. Peter. St. Linus is mentioned in the Canon of the Mass following St. Peter and Paul.